Do you realize what's going on? It's broken. Yes. The enemies are not spawning, and to advance this portion, we would need to reload the uh, checkpoint. Just like when things are below the map, just like when, oh, we got to go offline as a workaround to get certain things to appear. Look how short I am compared to you. Realistically. Realistically, Dia. Look how short Clint Barton is compared to Kamala Khan. It's a glitch. It's a glitch. I'm shorter than you in my screen. Hello, beta testers. Today I want to talk about incentive. Avengers can't deliver on its promises, can't deliver on fan requests without entirely missing the point of why people would want these things, treats basic aspects of any normal game as features to be added a year after launch, and is still so buggy after seven months that its dailies still don't work, and playthrough of a single multiplayer activity can provoke bugs and glitches going into double digits. Much of my own footage I'll be sharing in this video, however, showcases glitches occurring even when I'm alone. It's despicable. There's nothing to do in Marvel's Avengers, and the few things that you could force yourself to do offer no incentive to do it. I wouldn't be surprised if when the cloning labs become available that they restrict when people can play it, because that's what they said they'd do half a year ago, because dumb. The upcoming Tachyon Anomaly event that allows players to finally choose the same hero, no dates on when that's coming by the way, is planned as a temporary mode. What? Because Crystal Dynamics says, in their most recent developer stream, we want to gauge feedback. <laughs> You're going to put it in and then take it out. No dates on when it's coming by the way, but in their infinite wisdom, their plan is to only temporarily grace their empty and boring game with a potentially fun mode that people have been asking for. Not as a mode, but for us to be able to play anything. Your game broke, we in beta, you might as well let people have fun. But you're gonna rip that away. This is big brain development by Crystal Dynamics. And I've tried my best to hold my tongue because for the past six months I've offered suggestions and logical insight from a gamer who's seen this done a million times before and better. Not just recently, but years ago. I recognize ignorance and laziness when I see it and I don't feel Crystal Dynamics wants to be doing this. And it's a damn waste because this container, this packaging, it could be so beautiful if you just allowed these heroes to look as incredible as they do in their comics. Bugged dailies in your seven month old game ain't enough? Y'all wanna be known for having three villains in your game too? Fuck off. I make jokes about this being a beta, but it's not a joke, man. This is a beta. It would be reckless of a publisher to waste money on a studio that hasn't delivered in coming up on a year. You can't fix your dailies, homie? Ooh. I can't pretend. One of the reasons it's so butt fucking hilarious to me is because if y'all actually sold some of the iconic and outrageously sexy Marvel skins that the comic books are known for, it would be money to cushion the blow and y'all wouldn't have to worry about a damn thing. But you're in love with being stupid. Hmm. <laughs> Nobody forced you to do that. That's all y'all. Nothing wrong with realistic skins as a choice, but to have it be the only type on offer, that's where you fucked up. Meanwhile, Genshin Impact made a billion dollars in the last six months, but instead of adding content, you're artificially trying to lengthen what is already on offer. It's an interesting gambit, but not the one that Marvel fans are looking for. High priority targets used to respawn and give us loot. You damn right they patched that shit out to slow you down. They could flip a switch and allow us to play the same character. They could remove the faction caps and allow people to actually get some acknowledgement for their progress. Rewards past level 50. You've seen me on this same bullshit for months. No statistics to see just how hard some people taking care of business. No account level to show, wow, look at this dude. And it might be excusable if Fortnite, if all these games weren't showing you how to do it. You know what I've been thinking about a lot? The badass system from Borderlands 2 and how even after you soft cap, you can incrementally increase stats to cater to and enhance your specific playstyle. The more people play, the better they get. 
incentive. You know, Borderlands 2 came out in 2012. That's nine years ago. That's nine years ago. It's not just that these people are incompetent and ignorant and lazy and unaware. I'm not sure they've played video games before in their lives, dude. It's one thing to be constantly trying to convince us that you're comic book fans when you wouldn't need to tell us, you could just show us. But what the fuck is really going on in this game? You know what I mean? I understand they tried something with these comic books, but 2 and 3% changes, except for the one that's bugged. You can't even joke. You can't even make this shit up. There's a bugged comic book that gives you more than you know it's, it should be giving you. I just, the reason it burns some people specifically is because Marvel games before this one have done it better. The groundwork was laid. The blueprint is right there. Y'all would have to literally turn your back. Y'all would have to blind yourselves. The same way the defenders blind themselves to any faults. But Dia and I can't play this game without being smirked in the face with bug after bug after glitch after glitch. And that's how I'm going to end this video. Is just throwing in a couple of clips of us foolishly thinking that we could return to this game and that it would have its shit together. But we already knew better. And so did you. Love you. You reach 600 likes a lot faster than I thought you could, so now it's 800. And then I'll hit you with another Marvel's Avengers video. What's the point of having fucking emotes if you can't emote while they're talking about, oh, you, you so punny, you be new boss. You know, you're very right. The fact that it freezes us when you kill a boss and you can't emote, when now would perhaps be the best time to emote, and we should also be able to freely walk around and maybe pose up with one another, maybe pose next to the body. These are satisfying things to anyone who's ever played a video game before in their life, but this fucking game, Dia, they want us slow. They don't want us to maneuver too fast. And I get it, I get it from a design perspective, but I'm not in combat right now. And the fastest I can get through this pussy ass forest is to jump through the trees. Even with this weird little grappling thing, it barely works, you know? And it's it's what makes me scared for Spider-Man. Because look at this. You know how in um, Insomniac Spider-Man, even if there's nothing above you, so to speak, you can kind of whip your yourself forward by shooting the web forward and then pulling yourself. That's what this game should be able to do with a grappling hook, my dude. You can do it in just cause. I don't know. Why does the AI only follow one person? If there's two of us, assign one of the AI to each of us. So that if one of us goes down and the other one isn't exactly close. The buddy system. It says that we need to be... Oh, he's below the map! Good! Is there any way to break through? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's totally on us. <laughs> Don't have to defeat enemies if there are no enemies. You see what I'm saying, dear? Yeah. It's that black guy, like, uh. It's okay. This game just came out, so I'm gonna cut us some slack. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, seven months of this shit! <laughs>